Hello, so let's go ahead and grab some data. I'm going to paste the snippet from the primer and it's going to, this is going to be about loading an image collection and selecting a band. I think you've, you've done this before, but let's just I'm happy to walk you through it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy this address. I include the, the quotes. I don't think it should matter. And I'm going to paste it in that little search bar. That's at the top of the code editor here. And that's going to take us to the data set that we're going to be um, using for today. It's this defense program that has the operational line scan system um, that, that uh, collects lights at night. So here we see the kind of temporal extent. It goes from 1992 to 2014. And then if we switch over to bands, um, you should see that the resolution is this. It's, less, it's a, a little bit less than a kilometer, 927.67. And then I think there are four bands in here. There's the average visibility, um, the stable lights. So this is cleaned up a little bit, um, getting rid of fires and other, um, basically other lights that were not consistent throughout the full year, because this is a yearly average of these, uh, of, um, of the lights. And then there's some cloud-free coverages to give you a sense of data quality. And then there's this as a percentage of, of a cloud-free, and we're not going to not going to worry about this. We're going to mostly just work with the stable lights to keep things simple. Um, the other things to see here are uh, that there are these tags associated with this. So if you're interested in other nighttime lights, you can click on that tag. And this is a, a, a more recent version of the uh, of the data set that we're using that's um, been further uh, corrected. Um, we're just going to stick with the one that I'm that I uh, have the address. Um, uh, posted there to the to the primer, um, and then this is the more recent um, sensor that's finer resolution, and you guys will be using this um, after this in in your kind of independent problem that follows this tutorial. So now I'm going to go back here and say close, and I could just open it uh, directly there, but we're going to go um, and do it a slightly more drawn out way of just saying we're going to create an image collection using this EEA image collection where there's an argument and the argument is the string. So then we should be able to type in equals EE dot image collection. And then I ought to be able to just copy and paste this and paste it in there. And if I run, if I save that and run that, um, I've got these prints set up, so it should tell you that there's your collection there. The size is saying, so there's, there it is with all these images in it. The size is just a quick thing saying you, telling you there's 35 images in there, which should, you know, um, make you think a little bit because, um, if we, again, if we went back to this and and looked at the years. Uh, I don't think there's 35 years in in that. So it's telling me right off the bat that a couple of years are probably represented by more than one image. And we'll look at that in a second. And then um, what else is it telling me? Here's a, here's the first. So there are the four bands. Um, and then it's telling me if I'm grabbing the first, I can just print out the brand band names directly. So those are the four bands that we're using. So the next step is that we want to just grab the stable lights. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and not worry about the other ones just yet. So to do that, I'm going to chain it and say, please select. Um, and uh, that is a method of the image collection. It's going to be right um, there. Select bands from the image collection, this, and it needs to be the selector is a list of names. So I think if it's just one, that's not going to work. Um, I can do this and hit run. And even though it says it's supposed to be a list because I only have one image in there, it's okay with just you passing the, the string. If you want to be, um, if you want to play, and, and be prepared in the future should you want to select more than one band, um, you're going to want to put it in brackets as a list, and that should run as well. Is that okay? So um, before we um, selected by band, we had four, 
and then after we selected by band, we should have one band. Is that fair? So I'm going to go ahead and save that and then move on.